Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Nadine Woodward. An unsuccessful attempt to taser a man with a knife ends with police shooting him instead. WSP says 29-year-old Aaron Johnson refused to follow commands last night when confronted by police outside in East Spokane homeless shelter. KXY4's Aaron Luna joins us now live. And Aaron, the incident started over a rule at that shelter, right? Uh, that's right, Nadine Johnson was trying to check in here at Truth Ministries on East Sprague, where he'd been staying for the last couple of nights. It's a it's a place for men who are living on the streets to have a place to stay, and they usually stay a couple of days and try to get them off drugs or alcohol or whatever problems they're struggling with. One of the policies here is that every bag has to be checked before anyone can enter the shelter. And when they went to check Johnson's bag, he got agitated and started threatening people with a four by four chunk of wood, not unlike this one, pretty heavy can do quite a bit of damage. At some point, Johnson left the building and traded his 4x4 piece of wood for a knife. When police arrived minutes later, he continued to be combative. We attempted to use uh, a taser, and that individual continued his aggressive behavior towards our officers, and they took uh, action that they believed was appropriate to protect themselves and the community. Shots rang out in the alley, drawing attention from nearby people. Yeah, it sounded like seven or eight shots. It's pretty loud. Staff at Truth Ministry say Johnson spent the last couple nights there and that he knew about the bag check policy. Because uh, my volunteer looked at it and said, no, we got to check this in. It's going to have to get locked up. And he started to take it back to where the baggage guy takes it in the back, locks it up. And that's when he snapped. They also noticed that there was something bothering him over the last couple of days. Uh, last night he was off the hook. It, when I seen the video, it blew my mind. Johnson is now in the hospital with gunshot wounds and Truth Ministries is upgrading their surveillance to cover the alley. Something they say they wish they had to show how well police handled the situation. As far as I am concerned, as far as Truth Ministries is concerned, uh, the police department handled everything exactly the way it should have been handled. Johnson is facing second degree assault with a deadly weapons charge. The Spokane investigative regional response team is now investigating to make sure officers followed policy and did everything correctly before and after the shooting. Reporting live in Spokane, Aaron Luna, KXOY4 News. Thank you, Aaron, and KXOY4 will continue to update you on this case, including the release of the officers' names next week. So stay with us on TV, online, and on News Radio 920 for new information just as soon as we get it.